everyone, spiritual women, SWs. <laughs> Welcome back. Today I'm going to be taking you through three movements um, and shout out to Haley for inspiring this workout today. This workout is going to be core intention. So the main intention is focusing on the core, but we're going to be utilizing compound movements. So compound movements means that we are doing um, kind of like multiple different movements at the same time, but also these movements work more than one muscle at a time. So we're not without further ado, let's go ahead and get warmed up. All right. So let's get into our warm up. Today I have um, I believe four different warm-ups that we're going to be doing. I want to warm up the hips. We're going to do a little bit of upper body um, and a little bit of back. So if you are able to, I want you to take a nice wide stance. Let me set my timer here. We're going to go one minute in each one of these movements. So legs come nice and wide. We're going to go into a deep uh, squat, taking it all the way down one minute set in. So we're here in this deep squat. We've got our chest up. We've got our hips down to the ground. Feet are planted firmly. Hi, Dana. And then we're going to take the... <laughs> go. <laughs> Dana, the people can't see. Go. Go on, Liz. So take the inside of this left elbow. Press it to open up that left side. Now when we're doing this, I want you to twist and open the torso so that the right arm is coming up. Left hand is going to meet the ground, continuously pushing on that left side. And then we're going to open up the right side, fingers pointed towards the sky, gazes up towards those fingers. Holding it here. Gently turning back in, gazes forward, opposite side. Right elbow goes into that right knee. I'm on this. <laughs> Firmly place that hand onto the ground. Open up that left side. Deep stretch here in the hips, the back. Coming back to center. This one wasn't added in here, but I love this uh, dynamic movement. So we're going to do it. Spice things up a bit. Keep this stance, put your hands on the ground. We're gonna go into a frog squat. So you're gonna keep your hands, your feet on the ground while you just move your hips up towards the sky. Let's do one minute there. In three, two, and one. So hands on the ground, feet on the ground, taking the hips up and down. If you have, still have a bend in your knees because you have tight hamstrings, that's okay. We're just moving through the hips. Let me show you from the side, keep that movement going. Give it your best ribbit. Getting those, you might have some uh, Rice crispy pops in those ankles and knees, that's okay. Just air moving through. Mm, lubricating those joints, opening up those hips. Finding that breath. Ten more seconds. Might feel those hamstrings hitting nice and toasty. All right, gently roll it up. Ooh, and towards the sky. Take them out to the side. Find your breath, find your center. Next one we're gonna go into is gonna be a low runner's lunge. So I want you to take whichever foot you please forward. I always kind of start with my left, my more dominant leg. You're gonna take yourself into a low lunge. So that runner's lunge, both hands are gonna come on the inside of that foot. You're gonna take that gaze forward. And now you're going to simultaneously inside hand. So in this case, my inside hand's gonna be on my left side. I'm gonna take my knee out away from the body and my left hand is gonna to go to the opposite right side. So we're opening up opposite. So I want you to imagine your arm goes one way, your knee goes the other way. So my arm, my finger is going to be pointing to my right side, my knee is going to my left side. All right, you're going to feel that hip flexor, keep that back leg up. 
We're gonna go 30 seconds. All right, here we go. Taking that posing side, come back to center. Oh, feeling that hip flexor stretch out and strengthen. Come back to center, open it up. Couple more. All right, take it to center. Gently put your hands on the ground. Shift yourself up however you need to. We're gonna switch sides. I always like to center in between each one because you get that intensity going. Center yourself, find your breath. Switch sides, opposite leg coming forward, hands on the inside. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. Take that deep lunge. There we go. So inside hand, now we're going opposite. Whatever way the hand points, the knee goes the opposite way. So the hand comes over the head, the knee goes away from the body. Gentle here. Come back to center. center, gently come off that stretch however you need to, gentle, gentle. Oh. We're going to take it to a standing position now. All right, y'all, a couple more stretches and then we're going to get onto our workout. I can't stress you the importance of warming up your body before moving, um, especially as we age, we want to keep ourselves mobile, that's moving through the joints, dynamic stretches and movements. So not just ISO stretches, but also stretches where we're moving. All right. So next one we're gonna do, it's gonna be a gentle side bend. You can take feet stacked underneath the hips. I want you to take those glutes. All right, so we're gonna give them a little squeeze to stabilize ourselves, push down away into the ground. Nice and tall, we're gonna go 30 seconds. Just a nice side bend. So your gaze will come into that arm. All right. Breathe through it. We're going to go 30 seconds on one side. In three, two, and one. Coming back. Making it a dynamic movement here. Letting your glutes help stabilize you. Feeling the stretch all along that right side. Or whichever side you're stretching on. It could be the opposite. Ooh. Nice and gentle here. But like try to keep those glutes and below stabilized, so not really moving too much. They're, they're, they're squeezing, they're contracting, they're holding you center. Last one. And release, switching sides, 30 seconds, here we go. You may have one side that feels a little easier than the other. This side for me, not as bueno as the other side, that's okay. I'm gonna move a little bit more gently here. I'm gonna slow down the movement. I'm gonna feel into, maybe I need to hold for a second there. Maybe that's what my body needs. I want you to always during these videos, trust and adjust to what your body needs. One more. Not every movement is for everybody, depending on where you're at in your journey, depending on different imbalances you may or may not have. So just keep that in mind and perspective. Anytime you may get frustrated, you're like, oh, I don't like this one. Slow it down, breathe into it, feel and ask what your body needs in that moment and then adjust. Here we go. Last movement, what are we doing? Okay, last movement. We're just gonna do some chest openers here. Just crossing the arms over the body, 30 seconds. You can go as fast or as slow as you need to. Feel those shoulder blades come together. Feel that chest open up. There we go. seconds of this, then we're getting into that movement. Alrighty, <laughs> so the three movements we're going to be doing today, a squat to thrust, and that one is going to be utilizing 
our legs, we're gonna be using the glutes, we're gonna be using the core to stabilize, we're gonna be utilizing the shoulders and the arms on the way up. Second movement we're gonna be doing, it's going to be a reverse lunge to a twist. So we're again utilizing the legs, we're utilizing stabilization and balance there, um, which is always tying into the core. And we're gonna be doing that twist to get a little bit extra into those abdominals. Hi, Dina. Last movement we're gonna be doing is going to be a push-up to row. So with the push-up, we're utilizing the core to help us stabilize through that plank position. All right, here we go. I'm gonna grab those weights. Again, we're gonna hit 45 seconds on. We're gonna go 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, three rounds of each movement. All right, taking your position, let's get those timers going. Grab those weights, we're gonna go in three, two, and one, here we go. So, dumbbells start right here at the shoulders, take those hips back behind you, squat, one movement coming up and back down. The core is both helping you stabilize on the way up and when the hands are above the head right there at that finishing position. Find your breath. There we go. Faces forward. Woo. And get at a pace that feels challenging for you. Almost there, you got it. Last one. Take the weights down. 15 second break. Find your breath. Make the adjustments if you need to. So with that one, right, we're really stabilizing when we're up here, when the hands and the weights are above the head, stabilizing through that core, you can feel it, squeeze it a little bit right there. And then when you're coming back down as well. So the core is working through the whole movement, helping you stabilize on the way up and the way down. The breath's gonna go too. I'll have sort of beaten. Here we go, next round. Ask yourself, was that too easy? Was it too hard? Maybe you're adding on extra weight if you have it. Maybe you're going a little bit faster, but I encourage you to really take all of these movements with a medium pace so that you can dial into the core and have the core is working in the exercise. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Grab the weights. Thrust it up. There we go. Wanna get that heart going? But you still want to feel the core. Core stabilizing at the top. There we go, you got it. Keep pushing, almost there. Give me three. Give me two. Give me one. Taking down the weights. Take a little break. I love that my, my uh, personal training internal clock knows before it vibrates for me. I'm like, three, two, one. Or maybe that's just my wishful thinking of like, is it almost over? <laughs> I'm just kidding, we're having a good time. All right, 15 second break. Give yourself a little dance. Hopefully you got some good music going right now for yourself. Find your breath, take your stance, adjust those pants if you need to. Feet are firmly planted into the ground. Get into that, here we go, muscle man, sumo man stance. Three, two, one, last round. Taking the weights, Siri, we don't need you right now. Thank you though, you're helpful. Push it up, take it down. Push it up, take it down, feel the core. Ah, uh, thank you core for stabilizing me all through my life, for protecting my spine, for protecting my organs. I love the way you look now and in all ways, where they've got a little bit of extra love around you.
All right, y'all. We're gonna be working with one weight here. I'm going for my fives. If you only have one option for weight, that's okay. Um, you can also do this if you find that it's too hard with one weight, with odd weights. So, you never need too much equipment. All right, we don't need that. We don't need to overcomplicate things. You can do everything that you need, but just your body as well. It's all about the intention. It's all about the tempo. Here we go. So we're gonna take this reverse lunge. I want you to take whichever foot you want to first. I'm just gonna demonstrate for now. We're gonna come back, take those hips down. You got that front knee planted, weights in that front leg. Weight's gonna be close to the body. I mean, your body weights in the front leg. Dumbbells close to the body. Take a twist to the front leg. Back to center, step up, switch sides, other leg comes back and down. Twist to the front leg, come back and up. We're taking it slow here. We're filling into each movement, all right? It's a bit of a balance challenge there. So, I want you to make sure, and again, I'm gonna demonstrate to without any weight, without any dumbbells. Coming here, find it, hands, twist. Also, I'm going to fill this too in that hip flexor. Twist, center, up. All right. Here we go. Grabbing that one weight. 45 seconds. We're going to go alternating. So, left, right, left, right. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Pushing off that front leg. Finding your center. Focusing on that core. The great thing about these two is they're all balance focused as well. So we're getting stability, balance, strength, and a little bit of cardio if you're like me and you haven't done any cardio in a while. Your heart's racing. <laughs> your lungs are like, what are you doing? Pick it up. Last one. All right, taking it down. Water if you need to, 15 second break. Not too shabby, not too shabby right now. I think we're doing good. If you need to have a stretch, if you need to. When I'm working out by myself, I got my headphones on, so in between each set, I'm dancing out in front of my neighbors. I don't care. This is my me time. So if you're somewhere in between these sets, you got your music, and you want to dance, let it go. Really set energy. It's there. It wants to be moved, expressed, harnessed, and freed. Here we go. Next movement, sit well, <laughs> next movement. Same exercise, next round. Three, two, and one. Reverse lunge to twist. Let's go, SWs. I found this on the web. Next stays in line with that spine. Twisting through that torso. Here we go. Form over ego lifting. Connecting with your body, and your body will thank you. Don't forget to breathe. All right. Second round, and hey, that one's fun. I like that one. So we're like slowing it down, really finding a breath with each movement. Lunge, breathe, twist, breathe, up, breathe. Taking in that yoga breathing with each movement. Grabbing water real quick. Last one. All right, y'all. Are we ready? Last round with these ones. Three, two, and one. Oh, it feels good when you're on their body. Mm, just 
having a moment of gratitude right now to be able to serve and move and connect with your body. There we go. You see my gaze kind of going away. I'm, I'm really in this one, really concentrated. Gentle with this movement, okay? Last one. Pick it up. Good job, good job. Woo! -hoo! Last movement. We're gonna go push up the row, but first, dance break. Yes, yes, yes. All right, here we go. We're gonna take it down to the ground. If you, hi mamas. Thank you dogs. I'm gonna use this for my knees. If you have your yoga mat, if you give it a once over. No, no, Dana, okay. Let me demonstrate this movement first. Hopefully Dana will allow it. So, I'm gonna take that knee plank position Grabbing my five pounds, this too will only work unless you're really, really good for stability. Um, you wanna preferably have these one, two, three, four, five, six, so the hexagram, yes. Those ones, um, so that you have a flat surface to work with. If not, I would encourage just to do it via body weight. So, taking those dumbbells underneath, you're going to have them a little bit above the shoulders, not too much, just right in front of the shoulders. You're going to make sure that you're feeling that plank first before you go into the movement. All right? So I've got my knees here. I want you to play around with the knee adjustment. And we're not going to be like this. You don't want to tuck the lower back in, right? We want it up, almost a little bit rounded. Dana, <laughs> almost a little bit rounded, but not too much. So I'm going to hold that plank here. I've got my starting position. And then I'm gonna go into my push up. Up, row, row, push up. Up. The whole time using the core to really stabilize you, taking it slow, not rushing through the movement. Remember what the intention is. Intention is core. So we're gonna really aim for that middle position where we're refocusing and we're in our plank to reconnect back into it. Go into the push-up strong, come back up, reconnect into the plank, row, row, okay? So don't just push through it, don't, don't go so fast. Remember that in between, reset for the core and then go into the next movement. All right, here we go, 45 seconds. <sighs> Taking a second, get that energy. Let's go, push it that way. In three, two, and one, here we go. Find that plank first. I'm gonna come into my push up. Up, find my plank, row, row. Again, find the plank. Push up, find the plank, row, row. Woo, getting sweaty, Betty. more. And up. All right, coming up, kneeling. So with that one, you might find that your weights are moving because we, we are moving, right? We're lifting up the arms. That's why we're taking that second in between to really make sure that our, our core and our plank is good before we go into it. And I find myself uh, floating around. You can found for this specific reason, my knees too were kind of but you know what I'm saying. That's why we're taking the time in between. All right. Here we go, second round. Let's do it. Three, two, and one. Find that plank, a little bit of rounding in that back, so we're, we're pushing it out, right? All right, take it down. Once you find the perfect plank and you find that core engaged, row. Row. Find the plank. 
plank, push up. Find a plank, row, row. Plank, push up. Plank, row, row. You're doing great. Yeah, just when you need to. Take a break when you need to. Coming up for air. <sighs> okay, we got one more round. I hope you're having a good time. I am. <laughs> I'm having a good time. I love challenging myself on here with you guys. And I hope that all of those thoughts that are coming up, you may have like, oh, this is harder. I don't want to be doing this right now. I want you to recenter and know that it's just your mind's way of navigating right. Your mind wants to stay the same, doesn't like the change. This is change. We're putting ourselves in a stressed condition. It is a controlled stress, but a stress nonetheless. So, with that in mind, right, we're going to center ourselves for this last one. We're going to make this one the best one yet. I want you to take this one fully in tension, finding the perfect plank in between each push up and each row. Don't rush through it. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Find that plank. Core's fully engaged, sure you feel it? All right, go into that push-up now. Find that plank, row it out. Again, reset. Two. Woo! Give me one more. Row. Row. Play. Push up. Pick it up. Oh! Down dog. Oh, down dog. <laughs> Go into a child's pose. Mm, stretch that butt of her body. All right, gently come on up. Meet me in a tabletop position for some quick little cat-cow cool downs. Tabletop position, hips over knees, shoulders over wrists, inhale up. Exhale, round up the spine. Again. Meeting me in center in a seated position. Finding your breath. Hands on your body wherever it feels called to go. Just taking this quick second to do a nice body scan. Feeling the new sensations of the blood flowing to the muscles. Of the endorphins going into your brain, of your lungs expanded with air. Thank you, body. I love you, body. I honor you. Holding that energy for the rest of your day. Opening up your eyes. Thank you everyone for joining. I hope you enjoyed this workout. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe if you're not already, and you can always leave a comment about anything. Maybe you didn't understand a certain movement, maybe more of an explanation. Uh, please comment, let me know, and I hope you have a beautiful day.